Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Qbert Restore Part 4. We're going to work on the coin door and the power brick. So we're going to get the coin door fixed and body worked and painted. And then I want to get this cleaned up today. Um, I took the uh, paint stick that I had clamped on here off. This is really strong now. So I want to grind this down and put a little bit of filler right here. And then we, then we just need to scuff this door all up and get it ready so we can paint it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put any texture on it or not. There is very, very minor texture. Unless I'm just afraid that my texture might be too thick. But we'll see what I think when we get to it here. So let's go over here. Let's grind this down and see what it looks like. I don't want to take a ton of it off. Just want to rough it up and flatten it out so that we can uh, put a little bit of body filler on it. stuff dries real hard. I'm gonna leave the back side a little thicker. I'm not too worried about it. We'll just spray paint it because I don't want to take away the strength of it. So we're going to mix up a little bit of that um, glazing putty and we'll put it on here and let it dry for a little bit. While that's drying, we'll probably start taking apart the uh, power brick so we can get it all cleaned up and everything. So we don't need a lot of this, we just need a little bit more than enough. Um, probably tomorrow night or Saturday afternoon, I'm going to paint the black on the cabinet. And then uh, the cabinet will be ready to go in the house. By that time, I mean, I'm going to paint the coin door and all these parts today on this video. And we're going to have the power brick cleaned up. So the only thing left to do is um, the control panel, which we got to do a bunch of welding to and body work to fix all those holes. Oh, also the um, screen bezel, marquee, and the control panel artwork came yesterday from um, Phoenix Arcade. I ordered it. I think Friday last week, maybe even Saturday, and it was here yesterday, which was Wednesday. So he, they're really fast at get, getting stuff out. It's nice, because most people aren't fast like that. So, all right, this should be all we need for the filler. It's a little bit sloppy, but I want to leave it on there a little bit thick, and we'll sand this down. So I'm just going to kind of lean this up against something so it's not touching the filler, but let it dry. I'll get this cleaned up. Let me go get a couple nut drivers and we'll get this uh, power brick torn apart. I did take pictures of these labels that are on the power brick, so hopefully uh, I can just recreate them because they got to come off for me to clean this properly. So let me go grab a couple nut drivers and stuff and we will uh, get this torn apart real quick. All right. shouldn't be very hard to take apart at all. There's not a lot to it. Not like some of the MCR games. These uh, nuts and bolts, I'm gonna wire wheel them because I don't wanna throw these ones in with all the other ones that are in the tumbler because some of these are bigger and stuff and I don't feel like trying to figure out what goes where. So we'll just wire wheel them off. The only real thing we're going to be using this power brick floor for is like the um, marquee light and um, 
the monitor. Other than that, we're not using it really. I did order another um, capacitor, the big blue over here, to change that out because I don't know if that matters or not. But at least it'll have a nice clean one on there. Maybe I'll clean this wiring up with some simple green, spray it on there and let it soak for a little bit. I did take a couple pictures of the labels and stuff, so I should be able to figure out by the pictures and the colors on the wires of where, what goes where, so that we can put it right back where it goes. I do not have another one of these power bricks to work off of to look, so I gotta be kind of pretty particular on the pictures I took so that we can see where everything goes back in. Okay, so we have all this stuff disconnected. We got one more screw here. We gotta unscrew the clamp on the big blue. I know you can't really see this, but I don't wanna keep turning it around. Nut driver. Probably gonna have to go get some bigger ones. So I don't think I have one this size here. Too big for there. And that'll work for this. Let me just take the whole capacitor off. We'll just leave the clamp attached to it for now. It's actually pretty clean. After this, we gotta go underneath here and hopefully disconnect a couple wires so that we can get it, those wires out of this hole here. And then we can get everything off of this chassis, this metal piece, so that we can uh, sand it down and buff it up. Now I have to sand this down and paint that black. And just clean everything up. And then I can go back together. This one's pretty simple. There is not a lot to it, so... Okay, let's flip this over. Probably should have flipped it over first, but that's all right. Tried to smash my glasses. So now we have a couple things under here. We take off. I think the only way I'm gonna be able to get these wires out, I'm gonna have to cut them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them like a quarter inch or so from where they solder on so then i could just rematch the colors up and put them right back to where they go there's plenty of length on these wires to cut them just a tiny bit off it's not going to hurt it so we need to cut the wires on the fuses as well i don't have a cutter over here so we're going to try to cut them all with my knife Okay, those are all off. This uh, plug we can pull out and probably gonna have to cut these connectors for the uh, service plug. 
because that's going to have to come out from the top. So I think what we'll do is we'll just cut it right here. And we can still see the wire in there a little bit of what color goes to what. Fortunately, it's the only way you can kind of do this. Well, that one you can't see. But that'd be all right. Okay, we need to take this screw out right here for the plug. And then this clamp should come off and the plug slid right out. We still have a ground wire here attached, but we should be able to leave that alone. Okay. I hate when these plugs fall apart like this, but it should be fine. We've got a spider's nest in there. So now we need to get this plug off. It's just these tabs need to be pushed in. Have to cut these zip ties carefully, not damage the wire. One. Got to be real careful not to cut into the wire the wire casing. solder everything together afterwards. Well, I'm going to have to either pull the pins, which means i got to go in the house and get the Molex pin, or I just cut the, I'm going to cut them. We'll cut them, shrink, tube them back together. Okay, that's all out. So now we just need to get this plug and these fuse holders out. And then we will be ready to clean this thing up. And we got this little grommet here. Which that came right out. This plug doesn't want to pop out. I wonder if it goes downwards. Yeah. Okay. I think, yep. So that's out. Now we just have these two fuse holders left. Which, of course, I'm going to need a pair of pliers because the nut is really tight on them. Try to spin it with this flathead. It might come off. Nope. They are on there. All right, we'll go grab a pair of pliers and we'll pull that out. Normally you can use like a long socket but I have these tabs are hanging out and I still have a little bit of wire attached to them. I could have uh, just unsoldered them rather than cutting them but like I said I want to be able to see where they go. It'd be a lot quicker and easier to do it that way. Man these do not want to come off these nuts. I still might have to bend these up though because I'm not going to be able to get this to go down. So if one gets bent up and one goes down. I don't know if I can get a socket on that or not.
whole thing is spinning. Oh, might have gotten it. Try not to chew up the nut. It's loose. Okay, so that nut is loose. Now I gotta try to get it off over this terminal. <sighs> Makes me nervous. I might have to re-solder it. it. Might break. I got to go upwards. Can't get the nut to come off because of the uh, solder on there with the wires. Yep, that just completely shattered. So now I gotta find another one of these uh, fuse holders. Look at that. The old plastic just completely just disintegrated. Jesus. Stuff is brittle. I think I have more fuse holders at least. Wow. If not, I'm sure I can probably order one. Might have to order two. So that kind of sucks because now I don't know where the wires go. I'll have to look at this video or something. First time I actually broke one of those. Okay, this one came off. Now, if I can find these fuse holders, I'll probably honestly just order new ones for both of them. Because they are definitely brittle. I mean, they're barely wanting to come out of the hole. I need to slide this back on there. I know I have fuse holders, but I don't know they're that, that they are this size or not. I have a whole box of them. I'm sure I can come up with something. But we'll just leave that like that. And I know that this one goes on that one. So I just got to remember that the one that shattered was the one more towards the center. This one did not shatter. So now we can sand all this down. I doubt I'm going to be able to get this off. able to save the serial number. Maybe we can uh, glue that back on. Yeah, these, these are just paper. Okay, so I'm going to take my DA sander. We're going to sand this all down with some 320 grit probably. All right, let's see how this sands down here.
It's getting there. I'm gonna go ahead and keep sanding it down, then I'll come back. Okay, I got it all sanded down. It's nice and clean now. There's no uh, stuff on it. We'll buff it out in a little bit because I want to get these uh, black parts painted first and then we can come back with the buffer and buff that up. Um, I'm going to use a scotch Bright pad like I always do for the coin door itself, but obviously these grills and this uh, marquee holder, we'll just hit it with the sander real quick. <laughs> Okay, and then the coin door, I'm gonna do like I've done with all the other ones. We're gonna um, scotch brighter it all down, and I'll take a little bit of sandpaper here and fix these nicks from where uh, somebody tried to pry it open. Let me do that real quick. Let me try to pry it open with the screwdriver, and that's how they broke that coin door. <laughs> I might end up putting a little bit of texture on it. There is a little bit on here. Um, I just think it looks a little better when you do that. And it hides a little bit of imperfection. Okay, now I'm just gonna sit here and do this to this ring, the bottom and top coin door, and then uh, we need to clean up that power brick, and then we'll be ready for paint. Okay, this uh, coin door is dry now, so we can sand this down. Get some uh, sandpaper here. Nice and smooth, all back to normal. You know, it's a little thick in here, but I'm not gonna worry about that. If this were to have been a regular coin door that was steel, I would have just welded a new piece of metal in there, but obviously we can't do that with this because it's cast. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish sanding this stuff down and then we'll get it hung up and get this stuff painted. 
Okay, I have all the parts sanded. I tested this just so you guys can see what it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna spray paint this over top of all the letters and everything, and then we'll take the sander and just go over the letters just to bring them back out. This is not gonna get any texture put on it, just black paint. So now I'm gonna get the uh, cabinet out of the spray booth and we can get this stuff hung in there and get it painted. Okay, I just pulled this out. You can see how nice this turned out. Hard to see in the camera, but it's a nice satin finish. Maybe this side might show it a little bit better. Just has just a little bit of sheen to it. I think it's a good yellow. Um, before we paint the black, we'll have to sand all this down where I got overspray, just so that um, the paint has something to adhere to because this is obviously overspray and it's smooth. So you don't wanna just paint right over that. You wanna scuff that back up because if you don't, you run the risk of the black paint peeling off which would look horrible because then it would be showing the yellow. So now I'm gonna get all these parts hung up and we will start painting them. Okay, there, everything's in here. It's all blown off and everything, everything's hanging up. I'm just gonna put one light coat of rocker guard, chip guard, it's black in color, just over the two coin doors and the ring that goes around.
blow dry and I'm going to do a couple more light coats and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like after I have all the coats on. Um, if you notice in the video the lights are flickering a little bit in here. I got a ball up there going bad. So what happens with these LED lights when they're in a series, when a bulb goes bad it makes the other ones flash. So it's not the camera or anything, it's just have a bad light bulb. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then we'll come back and look at it. Okay, that stuff is painted. Um, I'm drying it with some heat right now. So I put the cabinet back inside there just to give it some extra heat so it can be dry for tomorrow night. Um, I want to take this apart real quick so I can polish this bracket along with the uh, base for the uh, power brick. So I want to go take this stuff apart. About the noise, it's the heater. So let's get this uh, volume knob off. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to use this volume knob or anything with that JAMA board from Arcade Shop, but I want to at least put it back in there because who knows, maybe one day I'll stumble upon an original board set that works, or if maybe one day I sell it and somebody wants to put the original board back in it, they can, you know. I don't plan on selling it anytime soon, but you never know. I took a picture of the label on this as well, so I can recreate it. just like I did with the power brick. I'll do that real quick and then we can polish this stuff up. Okay, I got these parts all clean. I'm gonna use my little uh, air buffer with a wool pad and some of this uh, Mystic Polish. It's a machine glaze polish. And we're gonna see if we can make this uh, polish up. The nice thing about using this stuff is it kind of puts like a wax on the surface so it doesn't want to, you know, get all crappy looking again like it did the first time.
I'll have to go get one. But you can see how that's polishing it up nicely. So I'm going to continue to do this and then I'll come back once I get done doing it and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, it's all polished up. Looks a million times better. Even the bracket's done. Now we can go take a look at the uh, parts in the spray booth. It's a little hot in there, so I'm only going to be able to show them to you briefly. Um, it's 100 and 130 degrees. So you can see how nice these turned out. Just has just a slight texture. That's pretty much just how it looked when I sanded it. I did bring the cabinet back in here just to give it some more dry time tonight because it'll stay warm in here for a couple hours before it uh, starts cooling off in here. And that's what also helps paint dry quick is to get it really hot and then to cool it off. It tends to harden it up nicely. All right, guys, so this is going to end part four of Cubert. Next video is going to be us painting the front and the back. I got to get out of here. It's hot. All right, next uh, video will be painting the front, the back, and the speaker grill area and the back door. So that's going to wrap up this. And hopefully tomorrow night, if I don't have time tomorrow night, it'll have to be Saturday and we'll get the black painted and then we can get it down into the basement. Then the next project will be that. So we got to strip that overlay off and start welding in the holes. It's going to be probably pretty hard. It's going to want to warp on me. Um, I still need to sand this down and paint it black, but we'll just hit it with a spray can real quick with some black. Um, and I might try to clean up these wires a little bit. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.